hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday, the 6th of July. So, for the first time <laughs> in uh, got a dirt on that thing, first time in almost eight months, was it December? I think it was when I took this thing home of last year. She's getting her first bath. As you can see it's not that bad. It's been caught in rain and gone down dirt roads. These things are phenomenal when it's time to clean them. They're fairly easy to clean. It's like a, you know, a lot of the Japanese bikes. You don't, you don't care about riding them in the rain. They, uh, they clean up so easy. Things don't get in certain areas like they do on other bikes and just literally ruin them. These things are designed for this stuff. So let's give her a quick bath and uh, welcome to the day. The sun's been kind of staying away here, so I thought it was safe to come out here and wash this thing. We'll see how. How long this lasts that if it goes full sunshine I'm in trouble before I get too far here and it's on my mind and I forget every time I've washed one of the spiders you guys know I always talk to you about back flushing the radiators because bugs and stuff get in there even dirt and debris gets in there especially if you're someone that follows someone all the time crucially important but uh yeah when you wash your spider back flush the radiators just take low pressure and back flush you can see inside there and then this one only has one fan all the water boxers only have one fan because that's all they need when you're back flushing you can see that fan shrouds that thing up so well it's hard to get it in there so take your sprayer off your nozzle and just run the hose around there and watch that water flows through and comes backwards out of the radiator all the way through i don't know why that seems to be need needs to be told but it makes common sense i mean don't you do that to your car you ever look at the radiator on your car get a hose in there and back flush that thing you know and if it's really bad use some of that bug slide or some kind of a commercial you know bug softener soften it up and push it through and for tomorrow's lesson personal hygiene we'll discuss that but that's necessary too <laughs> crazy what do you think so one has to ask themselves why before taking off on a journey which will probably get your bike dirtier than any other time you're ever going to ride it do we all come out here and wash them <laughs> I think it's just that peace of mind of taking off on a nice, fresh, very clean motorcycle. In case you guys don't know, the aluminum cases, if you blast them with water, because that trunk was so dirty that I, I washed it first. Two things, those straps I put on there hold soap like you would not believe. And then number two, when you blast them with water, even the light spray it pushes them past them seams. So they're water resistant, not waterproof. Anybody that's ever used those knows that. But um, anyway, I'm thinking about definitely getting that, that 40 liter, maybe, maybe even another 20 and another 40 liter uh, Copeland dry bag. You just have everything in those. Take my uh, um, packing cubes, and uh, set things up and just flop the bags in here. That's all I need. But things like clothes and stuff, I'll probably put in that fanny pack. And quick things, I like to make things that I quickly access in the rear trunk. But we'll see how that works out. But this is the last weekend. Next Saturday is my last chance, you know, of a day off to sort this stuff out. So it's, it's just about go time. Everybody's getting excited. I'm getting excited. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. But hope you like the nice, clean GSA. That's the first time she's looked at looked like that since I brought her home. Got my buddy out here again. So I just backed her in right there. Figured I'd just leave her right here. I'm going to be loading it up. Might as well just have it in an easy place to do all that stuff. Man. That's a good looking motorcycle. Holy moly. Well, I was hoping for a ride. 
The rain is all around it poured in Toledo, so if I go that direction, everything's wet. But uh, now it's saying rain in 18 minutes, but all that looks like it's more than 18 minutes away. But nonetheless, that and it's like 20 after 7. And I'd probably, <laughs> Sasha, I'd probably get wet if I tried to go somewhere. So I got things to do. I got one little thing I'll show you here. So I was looking at these hand guards. If you look at this side, you'll see there's an air gap. If you look at this side, there is that air gap is not there. It's actually touching the metal hand guard. Everything's tight, nothing's loose. So I don't know if something moved. But to get to what's holding that on, I gotta take this inner piece out. And uh, the way if you ever put these together, you have to have the hand guards off. So I gotta pull all the bolts out. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. But I did do something dingy because I'm still going back and forth. I don't know if I want to wear the big old BMW jacket. You know, the time of year and stuff like that. But we're going way up north. Don't know if that. <laughs> be an issue or whatever but that uh, icon jacket this is that liner that's all that thing is and that it is amazing it must be made out of some stuff maybe that's a little gold reflective stuff in there that thing is so hot when it's in but it doesn't it doesn't have the arms and that's where you get cold your arms get cold which your arms get cold on that too because even though the front vents are sealed up they still leak past some velcro areas but anyway one of the things i noticed that this uh um d30 back uh protector made my back hot i don't know if it's because i had that in there and i'm putting both together but one of the things i noticed is probably 90 percent of those vent holes I let that thing set on the ground once. I don't know. That thing's like a sponge. I I flopped it on the ground to knock the dust out. But anyway, I opened up and, and it left that mark. Same so way, anyway, I opened up all those holes. And I thought, oh, I'll make it nice and cool. And then I go to put it back in the jacket. It's made, it's made out of this stuff. It doesn't breathe anyway. Oh no! I got that orange dust all over the jacket too. And. The sizing, if you guys are looking at these things, be careful. Because I normally wear an extra large jacket. You know, I have to try them on to see because sometimes it is a 2XL. But this thing is a 2XL and it's kind of tight on me. So it must be, you know, like a European cut or something. I use my Dremel because I was trying to cut those holes out with an X-Acto knife. With well, a Dremel spinning, like activated the D30. And I was like, when I stick the little carbide bit in there it cut it like hard plastic crazy that this d30 stuff is some kind of weird stuff but look how pliable it is when it's sitting here let me get my air compressor going and blow that off right quick so you guys remember the all the crazy rain of yellowstone on my street glide special not this one it was the 103 twin cam that did a black one i mean lots of rain and it was very very cold at times like crazy cold it even snowed and the one jacket that saved me the whole time was this old can-am it's kind of a riding slash rain jacket has no liner or anything in it but uh it's waterproof it breathes very well you don't get sweaty in it i mean breathe fantastic it uh ties up tight in the sleeves gets tied up in the neck and uh, the pockets and stuff are all waterproof. So, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the Icon Squallborn jacket and its vest liner, and then for the sleeves, that little uh, Can Am or a BRP, that little wicking thing, that little loose floppy thing I always wear. And you can wear it in like 100 degree weather, and it keeps the sun off of you and keeps you cool. It's made out of some wicking stuff. But it also doubles as an insulator, and that works really good in the arms. Of course, I'll bring a sweatshirt in case it gets intensely cold. But uh, the problem with this one is it doesn't fit really tight around the neck, and there's no way of tightening it. And 
the sleeves are a little loose and again there's no way of tightening it you got the little zipper for you know if you're putting something heavy on but this will tighten up this is a 2xl this is an extra large and this fits over that like very comfortably so i got multiple layers and all of this folds up nice and neat the only thing the squall barn doesn't fold overly tight because it of the uh d30 in it but the d30 folds so i can tuck all this stuff away i can go from pouring down rain to summertime weather or i mean to uh winter time spit this out i can deal with very cold pouring down rain or nice hot summer stuff so i think that's what i'm gonna wear unless i change my mind that thing is very cumbersome to take and when it gets hot it folds up so big i just don't know i just it's a huge jacket so this is this is the route i'm going so that's the 10 liter bag and this is the 40 liter bag and you can see by the diameter of the bottom she's quite a bit bigger <laughs> of course that one's folded almost to the strap so it that's probably about equivalent of it but you know it's flat because there's nothing in it so this is going to be the initial setup those straps the way they wrap around quick release of course the bag looks funny because there's hardly anything in it and uh obviously this creates a problem for uh oh i open up in the back for opening the bags but you can open them both and set set the bag aside because both lids will open you can set it down or this thing un uh, attaches very very easily so there we are that's all the bigger other than that top bag having more stuff in it my only still my concern is is I like wearing a backpack and that's that's probably gonna cause a problem but we'll see but see that's butted all the way back against the the trunk the other thing I can do is just throw the because you can make these things straps you know you can carry duffel bags underneath these things there's a whole ton of strap up there to put bags sideways and obviously I'm not going to stick that up there because this is all nicely done I don't have it tight everything's just kind of sitting there that's pretty cool and like I say it's just click 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 and the bag's off in your hand in just moments <laughs> only concern you have to park in a shady place and somebody taking your stuff but we always if there's not a safe place to park we yeah you, know, you can see how empty it is the tray's just empty i took that bedroll out I, I don't think we're gonna need it and that'll just save a lot of room but there we are there's that's pretty much how she's gonna look when i leave here sunday morning just like that well hello there you two How's that for a non-riding day? But look at this out here now. Now it gets all pretty. It's just not fair. I'm Absolutely not. just not fair. It looked <laughs> like it was going to dump all day. Yeah, it was one of those crazy days. I was even afraid to go out there and mow the lawn. I still got to do the back. Oh well. But it's been a lot of time getting stuff ready. Because uh, it's getting really close to crunch time. Got that BMW all nice and cleaned up. Yeah, it looks pretty. I hate to even ride it now. I know. It. Get it all wiped out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little piddling around the, the shop today. Because that's kind of that's what I did today. <laughs> the little woman's in there all kicked back, relaxing. Yeah. She's in there watching old Perry Mason episodes now. I know. It's good. <laughs> you ever stop on one of those things, you're doomed. You're, oh, you're yeah. going to finish it to the end. Like, son of a gun, it got me again. I know it. They hook you in. Yeah, good. they get you. Anyway, I think we'll roll out on that there, Mama. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a little nicer tomorrow. Maybe yeah. we can both go for a ride tomorrow. Just go yeah. do something. Yeah, get out on some tittle. wheels. Yep. <laughs> All right.
You guys take Thank care. Thank you guys very much now. Yes. Bye-bye.